Hello and good morning, Joe. How are you doing today? I'm all right. How are you doing, Arrow? Absolutely uh, fantastic. I can't say long time no speak. I guess it was a year ago. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's becoming an annual thing for you and I. Yes, it seems to be. Um, next one won't be for two years, though. Uh-oh. Where are you going? Um, so where I'm going is just um, that uh, the next book in the series, um, I only just started writing, and it won't be out until around this time in 2026, so I don't have... I have other books dropping, but not one of the series, this Net Geo series, the 50 yeah. State series. Um, so unless they want to plug one of the other books, which I hope they do, yeah. um, then I'll be speaking to you in March of 2026, which just <laughs> seems like so far in the future, it's like sci-fi. <laughs> yeah, but it's such a blink of the eye, because I can't believe that we're already in, in March, almost April of 2024. Yes, I know. It's true. It's, it's kind crazy. of freaky. It's crazy. I love the way that in the book, when you get into North Carolina, which is where I am, barbecue is the very first thing. I mean, you know what we do in North Carolina. <laughs> yes, I do. I found out. Um, I went there. I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> did you do both versions of it, though? I did both versions, and I don't know where you're from in North Carolina, but I'm kind of partial to Western barbecue, yeah. Lexington style. That's it. That's it. That's exactly my favorite kind, the Lexington, Lexington style. I love the, the, the vinegary flavor to it. Yes. Um, and, um, yeah, so I had both. Um, and seafood down on the coast, and, uh, you know, Raleigh is a great eating town. Durham is another one. Um, Asheville, of course, but... Um, yeah, North Carolina, I think, you know, it gets left behind. You know, people always think, oh, South Carolina, low country food. Mm -hmm. But North Carolina is a great place to eat. I keep waiting for Charlotte to become one of those giant dots on the map. And the reason why is because we have Johnson & Wales here, a culinary school that really opens up the door for people all over the place. Yes. Um, yeah, and I'm always telling people how... Um, Really, I, people ask me where to go, and North Carolina's, you know, where, where should I go on my next vacation? North Carolina actually comes to, up to my mind a lot. Um, I just think, you know, from the from the mountains down to the sea, there's a lot to do there, but the food also varies a lot from one side of the state to the other, um, much more than a lot of states. Um, you know, you think of California and New York, and Texas is having a lot of variety because they're a lot bigger, but... North Carolina has amazing variety and and what you can eat over fairly short distances. Yeah, yeah. To put a book like this together, I mean, you had to do some serious traveling. I mean, when you walk into a restaurant, do they recognize you right away? Hopefully not. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Sometimes they do. And that can be a good thing and a bad thing. (laughs) It's a good thing if they decide to recommend what they think are their best dishes rather than just picking randomly. It's a bad thing if the restaurant owner or the chef decides to sit there with you the entire meal oh, and watch your reaction to everything they bring out. Yep, <laughs> so. yep I'm so true. The hamburger has, has got to be one of the most, uh, it just has gone through so many evolutions just in the past 10 years. Yes. What would be the reason behind that? Uh, is, is, it, is it because our palate has changed so much? Um, I think people in the food business, if they're really into food, are constantly experimenting yep. and trying new things. Um, you've got your basic burger, which for me out west is in and out, right? It's for me for for fast food. It's hard to beat an in and out burger. You know, it's really good ingredients. the The price is hard to beat. Um, you sometimes have to wait. 15, 20 minutes in a line of cars if you're driving through right. because they're so popular. But then you have the specialized burger restaurants. Um, and I think it's just a matter of the, the chefs and the owners experimenting and trying to come up with something new and also having more than just a basic burger on the menu. Um, I'd like basic burgers, i got to say, but if there's a bison burger on the menu, <laughs> I'm going to go for that because I, I just think bison is so much, well, I think it's healthier than than beef, yeah. although the beef farmers, the ranchers out there are going to hate that I say that, but uh, it's leaner than, than beef, and I, I it just has a slightly different, slightly wild taste to it, so I love bison burgers. Um, 
but I'm kind of a purist. I mean, I, I like cheese on my burgers, but not so much bacon, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love I love bacon on its own, but the burger, yeah, it's got to be, you know, if, if I have a, I'll tend to go for a basic burger at a place rather than all of the fancy ones, unless something really just blows me away by the description. I was talking with one of the chefs at Lucia here in Charlotte, and he says that they have to change their menu every three months. And I and and it, the way he explained it to me, I realize it's 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 all about business. But but people do get used to having a fresh new menu all the time, don't they? They do. Um, some restaurants are popular because people know that they're going to have the same thing year after year and decade after decade. This is especially true of kind of old fashioned, you know, steakhouses or t- surf and turf places. That, um, you know, people keep going back there because they know they're going to get a, a good steak or a good piece of lobster. Um, but other restaurants, it's a co- constantly changing and looking for new things because um, the people that frequent those places expect it. They've come to expect it. Um, I think this is more and more, you know, I mean, even fast food places yeah. now, they, they have seasonal items because they they think that their customers get bored with the same old thing or they want to attract new people and i think that's a that's a, a you know the the revolution the, the evolution of the restaurant and business and eating is that uh you got to have some variety yeah yeah hey i gotta ask you this is a. <laughs> I was with lars jacobson uh, a couple of weeks ago this guy hosts a podcast and it's about eugene fordor who is one of the the biggest travel writers of all time but he was a spy and i've and i gotta tell you when i learned that i i thought of you instantly joe i thought oh my god i bet joe is one too <laughs> you know I, I i have people when they find out what i do and where i've been they sort of assume that that's what I really do. But <laughs> to be honest with you, no. Um, I have been to some crazy places, Afghanistan, Iran, yes. after the revolution, but before the American embassy got taken over. Um, I was in Afghanistan just as the Russians were coming in. Um, wow. I was in Iraq during the Iraq-Iran war when Saddam Hussein was still in power. Um, I was on the first plane into the Philippines when they had a coup there. Um, so people, yeah, they kind of think, what do you really do? And I <laughs> say, well, I'm really, I'm really a travel writer. I just happen to go, to, like, go into strange places. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing that is not strange is this book. And I think that it's coming out at the perfect time, which is right here before summer and before we climb into our cars and start traveling. It is the perfect guide, Joe. Thanks, thanks. Um, it was it was fun to eat my way across the country and to put it together. And I hope that everyone else enjoys eating their way through, across the country or through the various states or cities. Um, Excellent. Well, please come back to this show anytime in the future. I know we're going to talk before the two years like you talked about because you do drop other books and there's, there's a way that we'll always meet. Sure, that would be great. I love, I love your show, Arrow. Excellent. Well, you be brilliant today, okay, sir? You too. Take care.